a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of like uh, really like neutral spacing tricks in there that make up the room. Definitely. All right, so we got Hungry Box X. Oh, they're going right into it. Yeah, man. Last time this was the game five at CEO. Ooh. Okay. But I could be wrong. Okay. Um, okay. Axe Man. hasn't beaten Honey Box in a while, but he did at MLG. That was the last. That was the only time I think. Okay. He's ever beaten. Man, it's a hard, hard matchup. It's a very hard. unorthodox matchup. Hard. How often do you see Pikachu Pump? It's crazy because it's like uh, you know how PUPU like his Bane and his Axe are like this is kind of the same thing. Yeah, you I know, can see that. Really hard. Perhaps. I can see that. But yeah, so HBox is already starting off strong, just like keeping the ledge and then forcing Axe on, on stage and then punishing it. Uh -huh. Not like a super hard punish, but he gets like an aerial, which is pretty good against Pikachu. Because Pikachu is also still pretty light. Yeah. So any any extra damage you get on her is pretty solid. I think what makes this matchup hard for Pikachu is the fact that like that edge guarding oh. factor that you have to worry about when other characters, you, like with Puff, you can just go out there. Yeah. And like... Pikachu can't really edge guard you back. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it makes it super tough. It's true. What you're saying makes a lot of sense. It's kind of like the flip of the Marth Pikachu matchup. Yeah. Like Pikachu has a really hard time off stage. Like yeah, see, there are a lot of times Harmony Box can just DI yeah, up and away, and Pikachu oh. can't get to that range fast enough. Get to that height rather. I wonder is Down Smash in this matchup good with Pikachu? I always thought it would. This is. It's like an instant pop-up. Mm -hmm. But you can DI like all the hits of it, perhaps. Yeah. So it's kind of scary. Oh, okay. All right, let him know, homie. <laughs> He's like, yo, see me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, that up smash. Oh. Man. The back the, the, hit him with that pancake, dude. <laughs> Axe, calls the, <laughs> Axe calls the back of the pizza. Oh, okay. It okay. looks like a, yeah, like a does, fitting yeah, pizza. A Hit him with the pizza, Axe. <laughs> Axe dot pizza. Like, yo, follow him on his delivery, Twitch. dude. <laughs> Did you guys order pizza? <laughs> I got one right here. In yeah. under 20 minutes or less. I know, right? Axe is the fastest delivery driver. Yep. It's got that electric car. It's yep. only right. Oh yeah. We don't use gas. If oh man. No emissions here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, like up air does nothing. <laughs> yeah, man, and a lot of times that's a big opener for a lot of the cast. Yeah. So it's just stray hits, and unfortunately, because like the strength of up air is that it's an opener. Right. It doesn't do any percent. It does like four percent, two percent. Oh yeah, god. Not, yeah. Literally. Just like yeah. Nothing. Yeah, it's just like all he could do is chip damage, and like his chip damage sucks. Yeah. That's <laughs> just like. Yeah. Wait, what do you do? Yeah. And then his other aerials are like really committal. Uh, what Hungry Box was doing to kind of trade with Axe's neutral air is doing a retreating neutral air of his own. We saw that a bit in his first stock. And it at least kept Axe off of him, you know? Yeah. Hungry Box makes, makes the invisible wall. Yeah. The great wall of Hungry Box. <laughs> it's like, yo, you can run see into it. this bear, homie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. The only man-made structure visible from the moon. Right. Hungry Box's wall. Damn. One, one small step for man, <laughs> one giant leap for Hungry Box. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. It looks hard. It's, it's I hard. feel for Axe. Yeah. But I do got to give it up to Hungry Box, man, because, like, you know, I don't think most puffs make it this hard, right? Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know? I think both these players are, like, a testament to their character oh. because they're off a class of their own for their character, oh, yeah. you know? They're definitely, like, they got the character on their back. They're definitely number 23 with their character. <laughs> yeah, <sure>. yep. <laughs> 100. Yeah. Uh, Man. Yeah. And then, like, See, not Pikachu can't commit to the double jump too much, and H-Box is staying at a height to where it kind of forces Axe, to, if he wants to hit Jigglypuff, to commit to the double jump. So when when Jigglypuff's above her, uh, above Axe. He's actually keeping his close. Yeah. Nice fair. I always like to see fair into like Nair. Yeah. He's like bringing it back. Dude, those those two hit combos are so juicy on Puff. Yeah. As any character. That's, he's, a, that's he's, a decent trade. He's getting more Nair hits. That was a good tilt. Okay, he is bringing this back. Yeah. He's like one good up smash and like. Oh, yeah. Is dead. Oh, dude. 
Oh, he committed super hard Dog with life. that down air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, this is just like. But see what I mean? When he goes from platform to platform, he's at such a height Ooh, that Axe really can't do anything. Yeah. He's got a double jump to chase him, and then he's committed in the air. He's just like, please get hit. <laughs> yeah. Good crouch cancel. It's almost like you have to just take damage to get damage with Pikachu. Yeah, I could see that. And against a character like Puff, Pikachu can do it a little bit as long as he trades. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And. Yeah. And like you're saying, Pikachu can't really contest the edge too much when a Hurry Box just like re grabs and does back airs to threaten that space. Uh huh. Pikachu can't really do too much. Can't do nothing, man. You just gotta. So I think you really have to like outplay. You just have to outplay like really hard your opponent at this point. Like yeah. if you're Axe, you have to think about like how you can just trick Hungry Box into doing something that he shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And, like that's like so hard. It's honestly like a yeah. war of attrition or a war of patience when you're yeah. playing H Box. And in the plups that we saw how well that worked out, if you just kind of play your game and know what's gonna work. Uh huh. For Pikachu, I imagine that's gonna be a lot harder. Right. So. Man. It's harder because the tools you have, like, it's like bringing, like, you're literally trying to, like, Hungry Box has, like, an AK-47 and you got, like, a butcher knife and you're yeah. trying your hardest to, yeah, like, Yeah, you're throwing these knives. Right. And what else can you do? Bring yeah. a knife to a gunfight? Yeah, really. <laughs> Man. Kind, well, kind of. Kind of. Stadium, that, I think it's good. No top platform. Yeah. Something with a, a, a low ceiling and, a, and, a, and no top platform is always good. And the transformations kind of favor X. That being said, he didn't get too many KOs off like, the top. He yeah. Did. He got him on the side. Yeah. That's true. But I think just like knowing that like Hungry Box's air patterns are like somewhat limited help him. Like right there, like I don't know if he would have got that like win on Battlefield, that neutral change. And and the other thing is that when I was pointing out the when Hungry Box was going from platform to platform, he would kind of use the top platform as like a safe space. Right. And here you can't really do that. So if he tries to go from platform to platform, it's more committing than Oh, how sick. Yeah, that, that was really good. <laughs> the splits. Yep. So Puff out here doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Downward dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. But struggle. Like, I don't know. Man. You think he should go for grabs more, Axe? It seems like he hasn't grabbed him at all. Yeah. That's true. But I don't know if that nets him too much. You know, like, even if he gets a grab, I don't think it's, like, a guaranteed hit. On grab the down throw, maybe. Maybe, maybe up throw thunder or something. Up throw thunder sounds interesting. I saw him do up air thunder uh, against floaties earlier, and it was kind of cool. <laughs> yes, yeah. anyway. Ooh. Yeah, this is it's definitely a war of attrition, for sure. Yeah. And props to Axe for being patient, man. He's got to take what you can get yeah. in each interaction. Like, yep, you got, you got, and then go back, go back to center stage. You got two hits, go back to center stage. Yeah, his. See, and then even recovering is just like super hard. Yeah, because he can go out there, jump, and then have enough time to come back and hold the ledge as well. Yeah, there we go, that, that up, up throw. Yeah. Maybe at like high percent to get the. Ooh! Nice. Dang, these drills, man. Yeah, these are some good kill confirms from HBox. Good recognition to get the up smash off those. Nice. Yeah. Nice! Read the, the, the wave dash back. Yeah, that, it's just. It's just crazy because he has to, like, you really have to just do reads, in, I think, in this kind of matchup. Mm -hmm. Oh, can he get a kill off that? That's oh, crazy. Dude, oh, dude he's got to do that, like, three times. Yeah. Oh, jab, rest. Oh, man. All right. Oof. 25%. We'll take it. Yeah, respect. Back, yeah. To the, back to spacing again. Just, uh, I don't yeah. know. I think fair would be a good approach if I'm asked. He could throw. I think... A lot of this is like threatening certain hitboxes, so that H box has to change up his spacing on his defensive play, you know? Uh huh. So, like, he hadn't threatened up smash, and then he did it and it worked out. Right. Hungry Box is doing what he does, man. <laughs> yep. I mean, he's not really doing anything crazy. He's just like, yo, let me treat him like a bad character. It's, it's yep. working. Oh, uh, yep. Poor, poor Pikachu. 
Temple Storming, let's go. Yo. Infinite PP on his Thunder Jolt. Can do it for days. <laughs> <laughs> it was super effective. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh. Man. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, just, he gets nothing off that up air. He really dude. gets nothing, and it's like 2%. And then he's and then Hbox is doing a good job just like doing his back air stuff, keeping keeping Pikachu out. At the very least he trades, you know, right. and he's up in stock, so this is a really good spot for Hbox to be in. Can't challenge him on the ledge. Oh. See on, on most of the other characters yeah, I'd be no, like, oh he got that up air. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, I got I got some few jumps. That's a nice down air. Oh, I respect it. At this percent, Axis has to make something happen. Definitely. Thunder? Oh. No. Not. Make it rain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. You're hey, right. Hey, yeah, you're grab right. an umbrella. I make it rain. <laughs> Dude, yeah, up throw up B man or down B. My bad. Yeah. I be getting. I don't play Pikachu enough. I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. No, but you're right. You're right. Up throw up throw Thunder worked out real well. Yeah. I like it. It's just something like you know. It's yeah. Like, something's gotta happen. Like <laughs> you can't like run in there. It just ain't working. It's, yeah. You know. It's, you have unlocked a kill setup, right? Like 100%, I could do something. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. <laughs> For every five nares you do, you get a free kill setup. <laughs> limited oh. time only. Right. Or limited percent only. <laughs> <laughs> Call now. <laughs> it acts just dialing away like, know, oh, come right? on, man. I know, right? I got to be the seventh I caller. I got 30 seconds left. <laughs> yeah, he... Oh, yeah, see, fair is good, man. It yeah, just kind of beats everything. Your callouts are actually really on point. Um, fair I don't always have good callouts, but when I do. <laughs> no, I think, um, yeah, I think a lot of it is just, uh, especially at this percent, man, you really just have to take risks. Yeah. As crazy as it sounds, because yeah. it's like you can't really gain anything at this point stalling. Yeah. Or trying to be defensive. Yeah. That was, was, oh, go ahead. That's closer than the other games. So. No, for sure. Man. It seems Axe has moments where he's oh. looking at the camera like, yo, I, I feel you. <laughs> oh, no. I feel you, dude. Man. You're saying he has moments? He has moments in neutral where he, like, racks up so much damage, but then, like, once he gets Hungry Box to kill percent, it's just like, Hungry Box has rage. Yeah. <laughs> can't die. Just hits uh, yeah. Axe over and over. Yeah. And then the struggle's real. The struggle's too real, dude. Oh, oh, Young Link. I love the young lane. Let's go, Axe. Yeah, it just looked like he just couldn't get anything going this time. And this kind of forces um, Jigglypuff to approach a little bit more because you can throw out your boomerangs, you can throw out your bombs, and threaten a lot of aerial uh, space, oh, which yeah. a lot of characters can't do. And that, like you were saying, Puff is a really aerial-based character, uh -huh. and a lot of players aren't used to, like, threatening that. Whereas Young Link has a lot of tools, quite literally, to contest yeah, the air. He can, well. uh, he can force her to jump in patterns where he wants to. Exactly, exactly. Like the boomerang, you can aim it high or aim it low there. So yeah. Oh! It's got a lot of household items. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh. And... Nice. But yeah, he's... um. What I like about Young Link is just the fact that he's able to do that. He always has a kill setup, and it, like ragging up percent isn't too hard. Yeah, and then bomb into down air is the kill setup mm -hmm. that you're mentioning. I think it's just hard for Axe too, because you know he he likes to approach. Yeah. So in this matchup, we really gotta like you know we're just watching our Mata back in the day. He would just really keep it slow and simple, you know. Yeah, definitely. Wouldn't definitely. really overcomplicate things. Yeah. See, like right there, he was uh, threw he threw out two projectiles and then kind of anticipated the jump because there's not too much places that Hbox could have gone there. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, I thought Tomahawk was uh, coming. I thought he was gonna grab him. Yeah. Yeah. Wall jump. Oh. Oh, let's go. He like added damage to the bomb. Oh, let's <laughs> go. Flex on him, man. Yup. Young Link with that potion. <laughs> Got that magic water. That, mag that magic water. <laughs> that magic milk. <laughs> he needs something right now. Yep. Go. No. Yeah, this is this is hard for both players right now. That, that situation's just hard for both. <laughs> the crowd goes wild Boy, when right? he gets that neutral air. Right? Oh man. Here's actually a good kill move. It's quick. Yeah. 
real quick. Knockback's pretty good. Oh, I like the bomb up, just in case Hungry Box went over there. Yeah, threatens a lot of space with it. Nice. Oh, I like the weight from Hungry Box there. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm going to let you hit my shield and then yeah. try to up smash. And Axe t tends to time his aerials when the boomerang comes back, and that could be predictable in a way. Like, H-Box kind of waited because he's, he remembers being kind of nicked by the, the boomerang in the first stock. Mm -hmm. So it would be a good mix-up for Axe to throw the boomerang and just go in right away. Like, yeah. Do you think it's safe to when he uh, has moments where he keeps Hungry Box in the shield, he just grabs him? It's so high risk, high reward, right? Because yeah. you're right that it is a good threat, and there's a couple times where he stays shielded. That was a great boomerang. Yeah. But if he loses, he gets rested. Mm -hmm. So how much does Axe want to gamble? What you, and what, how, what do you think of that hundred bucks should do? Like his like the situation he's obviously having a hard time with, and like for the most part, we're just saying like. Yo, Axe can do this, do that, and Hungry Box is doing what he does best, right? Yeah, I think but, but like, we should define like what he's doing. Yeah, so what Hungry Box is doing is he's using a lot of his aerial drifts really well to weave in and out of the projectiles, and finding that good spacing that he can go in and try to get an opening. So he right. goes in and out in the same way that he would against other characters, but there's less space for him to do so. Oh, okay. And he, it seems like he recognizes the the patterns that he the, the flight patterns he could take. To take flight. <laughs> <laughs> the flight trajectories he right. could take <laughs> to to make to make it happen. Oh, That's Hungry Box definitely, definitely knows air traffic. He's oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Hungry Box just has a good job of knowing when to be in the air, and then there's moments where he'll just stay grounded. Exactly. And you'll see him wave dash at, in and out of his shield over and over, exactly. and then go back in the air. And then so the moment where he sees Axe like come in the air with moves, he goes on the ground. Then when Axe comes back on the ground, he goes in the air. Exactly, see, exactly. Like right now, he's grounded for a second. Exactly. Which is smart, especially because Axe is like throwing the boomerangs typically high. Right. And then so he can like kind of stay underneath it. That time he throws it low. But I think he wanted like the reverse of it. Right. Yeah, that time goes high. Okay. I'm shocked no pounce from your box either. And no down air uh no down air setups from uh X. Yeah, I think Hbox has been doing a good job DIing a lot of these hits and not getting hit by the bombs in particular. Like he's getting hit by the boomerang, which doesn't really net a combo, but he's uh -huh. like really conscious about not getting hit by the bombs. Yeah, that, that's that, where the yeah, setup that, comes Yeah, in. that's where the bombs would do more damage than the boomerang. Yeah, yeah. And like he gets hit by the boomerang, but it's okay. Yeah, it's like a little chip damage right there. I think he's a grab him, man. Basically, like, the two projectiles he's... Oh, oh, no! He's using the two projectiles to, like, cover the aerial space. But what H-Box has realized is that, hey, I can just go towards the boomerang and eat it. It's right. not that big a deal. I'll always opt to not get hit by the bomb. Mm -hmm. And that keeps him pretty safe. Uh-oh. It's, uh... Yeah, it's just one of those, like, like you said, man, war of attrition, man. <laughs> There's yeah. definitely a better him than me set. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Yeah, man, and he... Oh, oh there you go, he texted that those. time. We got those. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. There's the grab you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I think he's got to grab him. I mean, it's just such a good setup. I think so, too. But it's like it's hard, like you said, too. Like, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah. And then get rested. I think if you're down 2-0, maybe gambling is not a bad look. Ooh, Ooh. that double neutral? Double noosh. <laughs> now you can see chat just spam noosh in chat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pressure. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. He's just. Uh. It looks like they're both having a hard time killing each other. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. Keep it real. Let's go wait for the bomb to explode. Ooh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Let's go, X. What a smart man. He's a smart man. Uh, yeah. There's nothing yeah. you can do there. Yeah. They might time it out. Maybe. He's got to get this kill and fast. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nice. Out the up tilt? That's crazy. I thought that would trade. Oh, dude, he's oh setting up. Oh, my God. He's got the whole artillery. Yeah, dude. It looks like Modoc. Right. <laughs> <laughs> setting up all these traps yeah, all across man. the field. Jeez. Like, this guy. Oh, okay. 18%. Honestly, at this point, I'm not even trying to win the, like, by getting kills. I'm just trying to rack up percent if I'm uh, Axe. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think he realizes that, which is why he's just going for bombs and not yeah. being super in his face about and it. And this is a good transformation for him. That's true. Oh, Ooh, dude, dude. that was hard command. It really was. The hardest oh. we've seen thus far. And Hungry Box got damaged for days. That he does. And now Hungry Box is going to 
try to kill the clock. Oh, you're right, man. It, it looks like it's going to time. It's going to time. It's just a matter of can Axe get enough damage in time. Grab him. Oh, no. He's sitting in his shield for so long. Oh, this is the, the juicy percent. This is oh. good percent. This is oh. good. One more, one more oh. hit. One more hit, baby. Oh. Get Throw that bomb. No, get that boomerang. He's holding it. He's going to wait for him to come down. Oh, now is he, he's still he's going in. For, he's going to wait for him to come down now. There's oh. no reason for Axe to go in the air at no, this point. No, there really isn't. There really isn't. And he kind of realizes that he's just like staying on the platform and grounded everywhere. Yeah, you just got to stay on the ground. Yo. Yo. Okay, and he gets oh, another wow. hit. This is big for Axe. Would you try to end him? No, no. <laughs> I, I don't think you should get greedy. Hbox is waiting for his one chance, dude. How many times have we seen that? Uh-oh. 13, 12, 11. Okay, that, that keeps him oh, away. Man, that, yeah. That's good knockback. That's great knockback. Okay, five seconds. Five seconds, baby. Four. All Stay right. on stage. Just hold your shield. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and he's still alive. Man. Man, that was cool. Thumbs up for the crowd. Yeah, man. Yo. I like that he throws away the bomb out. at the end, too. He doesn't want any percent on accident. <laughs> Dang. That's crazy. It's the war that of was such a That was such a turn because, like, in the last, like, 30 seconds, he just got, like, 50 damage. Yeah. And I think that's a little bit of conditioning because he's been, like, so retreat heavy. Yeah. That at the last second, he switched it up and changed the tempo. That I was yeah. like, all right. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. But he's finding ways to hit him while being grounded. Yeah. And that oh, just changes the whole, like, stride of the matchup. See? Yeah. Like, he's not really going up there. Like, he used to wait for a hundred. Like, he used to throw his projectiles while Hungry Box was in the air. Yeah. Now it's like, all right, homie, come down. Yeah. You get this fat boomerang. You're absolutely right. He really figured that out, that, hey, I'm just going to stay grounded a little bit more often and just do short hops or just one jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. It's like, I'm not going to chase you. Yeah. He's just like, look, come down, and you're going to get hit. Yeah. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, wow. What a trade. Knocks him off him. Oh, oh my okay. God. Yeah, hey, man. You, we know you won the last game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's brace ourselves, okay? Yeah. Let's take our time here, dude. Yeah. We clearly got a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. A lot more melee to be played if he's going to make this comeback. Right. This potentially can be two more timeouts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on this stage. Oh! Ooh! Axe is crazy! Let's go, Axe! Do your chain what? hang low! <laughs> Wobble! Using low. the Jesus piece to hang low and then <laughs> wall jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that oh, And he does it again. Two chains! Oh, two chains! Two chains. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yo. Axe Man. is coming alive Axe right now. Axe just went to the finest jeweler like, yo, I need that nice, <laughs> I need that nice hook shot piece. He went to Jared. <laughs> he <laughs> went to Jared. <laughs> Definitely went to Ben Baller like, yo, bro, <laughs> hook me up. <laughs> oh, man. But right now, Axe playing it real well, man. He's just knowing how to get damage. Yeah. Yeah. Just like really, really understanding Hungry Box's air patterns a little bit more. Hungry yeah. Box, though, on the other hand, not playing. It looks like he's playing a little stale now. He's just like doing what he's been doing. He's yeah. not really adapting. Yeah. Like he usually can, all right, Axe does this. All right, I'm going to switch it up, too. He's just kind of like. Just waiting for hungry or waiting for Axel. I'm sorry to make a mistake and then like, you know, trying to capitalize off it. But Axel's is just like, look, man, I got a, I got a 50 percent lead. I'm out here. I think part of it is that uh, Hbox probably doesn't play too many young links. That's true. So like the the mix up that Axe is doing is going to be a lot harder for Hbox to like react adjust to. to. Yeah, re adjust and to. And exactly. like with with Puff, there's only so much you can adjust with, right? Yeah. It's just like, okay, I got back air at this time versus back air at this time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe if I'm hungry box, maybe to come down with nares like he does versus Fox. Yeah. Um, just do more nares, short hop nares. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. The boomerang saves him. Oh no. Yeah, man, boomerang lives matter. <laughs> 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 now nah, you're saving him. Oh, yep. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, for the most part, Axe is at this point where he doesn't really have to commit, he just has to wait. Yeah. yeah. See? Dude, neutral wow. is strong, though. That almost KO'd. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all these bombs. Jesus. Yeah, dude. Chill, homie. Yeah. Man, I don't know about you, but when I'm playing like Young Links and Links, I gotta pick the bombs up and throw them back. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what I'm about to use your own artillery against you. But we play like faster characters that can. That's true. That can actually grab them. Yeah, can, can grab them. <laughs> and like when you throw them, we can like react and get like hits off Ooh. of it usually. Whereas Puff does it, it's like, all right, I'm still far away from you. Oh. That was oh. it. Yeah. Okay. Almost. Nice platform cancel. Yeah, he wanted to get. He like wasted invincibility, looking cool. 
Nothing he could have really done anyway. Yeah, yeah. But Hungry Box bringing it back. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how. I, oh, oh. We I haven't seen him. the arrow too much yeah, either. Right? The times he has done it, he he hits him with it. Because it's like you're saying, H Box is playing like a grounded game, or he tries to. If H Box wants to like be underneath the boomerang or whatnot, right? Then the arrow is actually a really good answer to that. <laughs> Why? You see that? Why not? <laughs> Sometimes you just need that potion, man, that power up. Oh, man. Drink your milk, homie. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely see Young Link on the uh, Got Milk commercials. Dude, yeah, with the milk mustache. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, he's uh, he's doing good. Yeah. He's keeping Hungry Box in his shield alive. He really is. And there the boomerang threatened in an area that was above the up air. That was, that was really good, man. Yeah. Axis is in control. He knows, he knows where to throw his projectiles. Yeah, and he knows when to throw out his neutral air, too, when he sees that H-Box is getting close. He's like, all right, I'm going to put this neutral air out. I respect that up air. Grab? No grab. He's not grabbing. Yeah. He's not about to grab like that. I think at, like, 123%, it makes sense that he doesn't want to go for something that high risk, high rewards like grab. True. Because true. then he would just get rested and lose all this lead that he's gained. True. I just don't think Hungry Box would catch it. I don't think so, either. He shields there so much. Yeah, I, I agree with you that based on what he's doing, it seems like it would work out, uh -huh. but it's a scary, it's a scary guess. Ooh, and if oh, you're oh, axe, you want to get on the ground, yeah. And crouch cancel, okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Keep calm and be grounded. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, ooh, nice boomerang throw, or yeah. boomerang, boomerang. <laughs> With how ooh, many projectiles yeah, he's throwing. Know, right? That was a quick finesse out of mm -hmm. axe. That wall jump is actually keeping him really safe. Ooh, beautiful. Did you see the boomerang kind of clanged with that yeah, hit? Yeah, that was crazy. Good reverse fair by Hungry Box. All right, well, there's enough time where he can't just, like, wait for the clock to end. Yeah, I agree. But if I'm Axe, I'm not trying to commit to nothing. Yeah, the dash attack was oh, really committing, too. Oh, but such a bad spot. Oh, nice, and that time that Box. That sweet spot. That was smart of Axe to not go for the wall jump because it looked like H-Box was ready for it. Mm -hmm. He was waiting, and he did that down air in kind of anticipation for it. Okay. Oh, oh he's a G. <laughs> and if I'm Axe, I'm definitely trying to stay away from the ledge as much as possible. Definitely. Oh. Ooh. Oh, and you see that crouch? Because yeah. he's, he's trying to bait out that yeah. grab, dude. Yeah. You're right. Oh, no. Vish knows. Vishnu. Vishnu. <laughs> Shouts to Vish. <laughs> Shouting out the guy. He's right next to him. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, man. That, that, that oh. back throw is fire. It really is. Yeah. That's really. like Pikachu's on Space Animals, low key. Low key. I think X should wait for H Box to approach him because I agree with you that the time is like not in his favor to yeah. make a timeout, but he has the percent that. Oh, he's got to get one bomb to land, man. Oh, one projectile God. has to hit right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got to go for a, like a flailing up air. Flailing up air. <laughs> Let's go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he's just got to throw one out. Uh oh, wall jump. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. No! That's so fast. Yeah. That back air into the nair. What is this? Oh, oh. Dude, there's no way they're going to time out. They might. They might. No way. The watch, he's going to do arrow. It's going to come out because he hasn't done oh, it yet. Oh, I thought he was going to nair him. Again. Arrow nair, dude. Nair pressure. Arrow nair is going to come out. Oh, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He's he missed. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. He what? covers everything. Wait, that he doesn't have a jump. No jump. Oh, no. He oh. got hit by his own bomb. Nair. Oh, my, my God. Axe. Oh my god, X! X! To game five situation, the what? young link! What young link though? Oh man. The youngest of links. Dude. Hbox looks tired. Oh yeah, he dude, looks. Dude, this is like a lot yeah. of patience from both yeah. players. Like this is hard for Hbox to contend with. He's used to yeah. Fox's kind of playing that keep away style, but he hasn't like really contended with young links like this for a couple years at least. Right. Two years. It this matchup in particular is interesting to me because I feel like the role that Axe plays in the Pikachu, like versus Fox or whatever, it reverses. Yeah, it really is. As Young Link, like he's the volatile one. He's the yeah. one that can just die randomly, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed, agreed. He can edge guard him really well. Yeah. Oh. He can't really edge guard Puff. Agreed. He's making it happen. Yeah. He's playing slight more aggro. I think H-Box is kind of realizing he's closing the, the range that he's uh, staying around. Yeah, Hungry Box is being more grounded also. Oh, more, he's, more close quarters. 
Hookshot Jeffrey. <laughs> Shout out to the money, Mike. Hookshot Miguel. I know. <laughs> I know North Carolina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Rip. But that's a big, actually, that's a big stock for HBOC to yeah, take man. right away. 50, that's, that's 52. That's nothing. That's really not that much. Oh, yeah. You can't just whiff three grabs and place with It feels like Axe is going <laughs> in a little bit too much this game five. And I think he needs to do what he did the last two games, you know? Yeah. Doesn't it feel like he's a little bit more aggro? A little bit. Well, now he has to be. Yeah. But the first stock, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Bombs look like raindrops, you know? <laughs> Yeah, throw one up. It's hard, man, because I feel like you want to throw bombs where Puff's going. But yeah. Like, that's so hard, because by the time you do that, she's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> she's out of there. See, yeah, he tried to do it right there. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, Hungry Box in control. Now Hungry Box can play in the air a little bit more, because he knows that uh, Axe has to go to him. Right. Like, Atlanta Dreams. Oh, oh, the boomerang. Oh, the quickness. Oh, my God, so many projectiles. Yeah. <laughs> this little kid is just throwing so many bombs. It feels like he's asteroid, like he's shooting up. Yeah. Or, or uh, space invaders where he's shooting up at the, the alien yeah. coming at him. <laughs> oh, no. Arcade Axe. Okay. Yeah, Hungry Box is the great wall of Hungry Box. Yeah. Strikes again. It's a good wall. Yeah. Solid, well built. Oh man, <laughs> I took that all kinds of delays. Just <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna get into that conversation. <laughs> oh man, but um, yeah, man, Axe is struggling. My man is out here playing uh, bass fishing pro. Oh yeah, trying to fish for a kill right now. Definitely, definitely. Trying to catch that big fish. The H box fish. Yeah. The largest bass in the water. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. He just rolled three times of trigger. H-Box seems like he's playing a lot more patient this particular game. I think he realized, like, look, this is game well, yeah, five. He has the lead. He has the yeah. lead as well. He's and that up. time he doesn't even contest. He's just like, you know, I'm just going to stay on stage. Oh, wow. Because I don't want to take any more percent. That was huge because a 4-2 swing in this matchup is, like, big. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm Axe, you're probably not going to take the stock first. Probably not. But. If you can get my mans to like at least 80 damage, that's a good stock that's for a him. That's great. It's pretty much back to even. Yeah. And oh, oh that was wait, a good edge guard. Still, he threw a bomb, no? I would have tried at least. Might as well. But yeah, that was a great edge guard from H Box. Yeah. Just that fall off forwarder like that at the right time. Okay. Roll, yeah. He's got to catch his rolls. Yeah. And the strength, I think what HBox is playing towards is like he's staying outside the range of the projectiles so far away. He's either like really, really high or wow. really, really far to the left or right. So like the, the boomerangs don't even threaten anything when he's that far away. Yeah. And, it, and uh, Jigglypuff has such great drift that he can like come back in when he sees the projectile has been thrown. Right. So he's keeping, he's keeping away further than Young Link can throw these projectiles. Yeah. Just like, well, I got range for days. Yeah. Oh, that was a good. People actually don't talk about how much range Puff has. Yeah. That's pretty fire range. Hell. Oh. <laughs> that's scary for HBox to go for that up air. Yeah. Confidence. That's how you know, man. That's that. That's that top two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. M Y O M ranking. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. I don't know what Axe needs to do. He's got a ladder to climb. Yeah, he does. Young Link is little, so it's going to take a while. Oh, no! Yeah. That was oh. a great tag. Let's go, X. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, what a hog. He's a beast. And he reads yeah. that jump. I can't believe Young Link's up B goes that far. That looked like some fox. Yeah, okay. Man, Axe's recovery options are, like, crazy. Yeah, he's pretty good at it. Ooh. Okay, and not Almost. quite. That's too bad that that didn't KO for yeah. Axe. Man, HBox is doing such a good job playing this lead. Oh, really yeah. making Axe earn every single in single interaction that he oh, yeah. gets. He's like, look, dog, if you want to win this, yeah, come up here and yeah. get your win. Yeah. Oh, and he goes down. I'm shocked he didn't down. Man, yeah. 
this is uh, this is rough. It is pretty rough. Hbox, I think, is countering the keep away style of H, uh, Young Link by keeping away further, like I mentioned before, and it's working out really well. He's got such oh, a leap. Oh! Oh! Wow. Right. It's the last stock for Axe. And he's got two minutes, and Hbox has three stocks. And you see Hbox like kind of just stand by the edge. He's like, dude, it's two minutes. You're gonna have to put in work. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to put in work. Hungry Box doesn't really even have to fight. He just has to like not, not get, get hit. hit. Yeah. This one fucking, that's like a crib for him. Boy, I'm not going yeah, to Yeah, but. Yeah, and he's eating percent too. Because he has to gamble with some of his approaches now. He, oh, look at that. Oh. Juggler. I know, right? Yeah, man. Props to HBox for switching up so hard on game five. He knew exactly what he needed to do. Yeah. I think he would have adapted a lot faster to a character like Fox. But on a character like Young Link, he took a couple games to realize his game style and his game pattern. So good job for him for holding it really steady on that game five and kind of taking it a lot more confidently than the other games. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He just, like, got the lead and then played the yeah. lead. Yeah. Just like, look, man, I'm not about to go up to you. I'm not about to do nothing crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 